Time frame, images of a generation. We grew up in a simpler time. We sang. Hey kids, what time is it? We laughed. Hello, boy. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. We cried. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. We fought. We loved. We were attacked. Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. Our flag was still there. Now these memories come to life on posters that can be yours today. Go to HowdyBoomy.com for your copies today. That's HowdyBoomy.com. HowdyBoomy.com. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. Today it's going to be a brief one. Uh, hopefully everybody has had a great weekend. But things have come up now that they use different terms than they used in back in the days of the baby boomer, but the results are probably just about the same. Back in the 60s, the, uh, those who were in power decided that in order to make things more equal in colleges, that there should be a quota. So they started a program called Affirmative Action. And what that did was it made sure that minorities were represented in every admitting class into college. So they started a quota program. They called it affirmative action. They always come up with names. Everybody comes up with names that sound good. And basically, it was quotas. It didn't matter whether you qualified or not. It didn't matter if you were worthy of it or not. It went according to the color of your skin, which is, I would think, racist. Later... As the years went on, the Supreme Court realized this and declared it unconstitutional. But in using the Affirmative Action Program, it was enable those who felt that they were being discriminated against to ignore the actual issue, the pro cause of the problem. And as I've said in previous podcasts, it all starts at the kitchen table. If you're a teacher... You cannot teach an empty seat. It, you cannot make sure your child goes to school if nobody in the household cares. The important part of the household are the parents. Two parents in the house. Two parents who care. Two parents who will guide the child to make sure that they begin their adventure in the world with all the best tools that they possibly have. Does it mean money? Of course not. What it means is caring parents trying to guide their child through the problems of growing up. Same as it was 60 years ago, communications now is much, much faster. The challenges to children are much more uh, current as far as communications and voices from the outside constantly pummeling them with information, but it's up to the parents to help filter that. Back in the 60s, they called this affirmative action, which again, ignoring the problem, ignored the cause of the problem, and tried to make things equal just by saying they should be equal. Just think if you were the owner of the Chicago Bears or the San Francisco 49ers or the New York Giants, and you just had quotas on your roster just to make sure that there were a certain amount of minorities, a certain amount of teachers, a certain amount of magicians, uh, a certain amount of airline pilots on your roster to make sure everything was equal and nobody could point to you as saying you were racist. You'd be laughed at. What the uh, National Football League does is they pick the best possible people for each position and they go with it. That's what makes it so enticing. That's what makes it so gr gorgeous to look at on TV. It's the highest ranking sport in our country because it's even. The best person gets the job. Now they call it diversity training. Uh, the minority communities have noticed that 
There aren't enough management people that are minorities, women, whatever you would want to call it. There are not enough there. Is it because they are not um, worthy of doing that? Probably not. But they want it to be included anyway, even if they are not capable of doing the job just because they are a minority, just because they are a female, just whatever reason you want to pick. They're making people go into positions they are not qualified to do just because of the color of the skin, which is racist. They don't want to say it, but they, are, again, are ignoring the problem that I stated in the first podcast weeks ago. Everything starts at the kitchen table. I've noticed where Colin Kaepernick came out recently and said that his foster parents were racist. He accused them of being racist. And I thought to myself, gee, that, that's, that's a little strange. If he thinks of that of his foster parents, what does he think of his biological parents? Now, I don't know the full story about that, but did they give him up? Did they abandon him? They didn't contribute to his life. The foster parents did. He wound up graduating college. He wound up playing in the National Football League. Did he do that all on his own? I don't think so. I don't think any one man does it all on his own. But now they are racist. And I thought to myself, why would he do that? And then all of a sudden it comes out, he is out promoting his new book. Nobody's even thought about Colin Kaepernick for a, a, probably a couple years. And now he needs his name in the news again, which goes to prove what I mentioned a few podcasts back. If I were to take an industry back in the 60s and wonder about where can I go and apply for a job that I would know in 50 years I would still have a job, the industry would still be vibrant. I knew it wouldn't be an encyclopedia salesman because they're gone. I knew I wouldn't be a girdle salesman because they're about gone. Fuller Brush Man, door-to-door salesman, they're gone. Racism. There's money in racism on both sides. Colin Kaepernick is proving that. He had made a fortune in racism. That's all he knows now. So in order to get his name back in the public, in order to promote his book, which he wants to sell, and again, you remember, I mentioned a boss told me once, You always do business with people that are dumber than you are. Evidently, Colin Colin Kaepernick wants to sell a lot of books to people that are not as smart as he is or as smart as he thinks he is. Colin Kaepernick is a racist. Simple as that. He's playing it for the money. Always did play it for the money. Most racists play it for the money. Some are doing it out of the hardness of their heart, but they want to make money doing it. They want to make sure they're taken care of. They will do anything that is racist to make sure that they are financially taken care of. And that is exactly what Colin Kaepernick is doing. He is proving, again, that he is a racist. I hope you enjoy the program. I hope you enjoy the website, howdyboomy.com. For the memories of the baby boomer generation, join the peanut gallery, buy some of the program uh, products on the website, uh, take a look at what we offer, great gifts for grandma, grandpa, puzzles, uh, posters for all generations. The website is going to become the go-to website for baby boomers from dating to financial aid to the Baby Boomer card, which is going to be a discount for products nationwide every day all across the country. Thank you for watching this show. Uh, Again, enjoy the website. Thank you for watching the Howdy Boomy Show. God bless you. God bless America.